Hymns are one way to start the school day. Lower Croft Primary School in Berry has a totally different idea of how it can be done. Wake Up Shake Up is something that we do every single morning. It just only takes five minutes. The whole school join in and all the teaching assistants, teachers, everybody, and also parents. We really encourage parents to join in. It's a fantastic thing for the whole school community. The idea of Wake Up and Shake Up is to give the children a quick blast in the morning to wake them up and get them ready for the day and it's just a little bit of extra exercise and it's super for just getting everybody going really in the mornings. Standing on the playground doing the exercises, it obviously wakes the parents up. The younger children um, enjoy seeing their brothers and sisters doing it um, and I think for the neighbours and for the parents it's lovely to see the children all as one big school community. Wake Up Shake Up is only one physical activity that the children here get to enjoy. Lowercroft also offers a wide variety of yoga based activities to every child here. First on the agenda is the Juniors Before School Yoga Club, run by Deanne on a Thursday morning. We're going to start with the tree pose, We're doing this to practice our balance, which will help in all areas of our lives. Take your foot up your leg, Keep make sure your knees out to the side, down. Hold it there, up, and relax. Yoga can offer children a variety of benefits. Um, firstly, it's um, an exercise that all children can access. It's non-competitive, so it it's really appeals to a huge variety of children because there's not that competitive element to it. It can improve coordination, it can improve concentration, it can calm you down, it's good for flexibility and it's also good for children with conditions like asthma, it can really help the deep breathing. As you breathe out, just see if you can relax a little bit further into that stretch. So as you breathe out, see if you can sink a little bit further down. You sit up. Just come out to that pose. So lie flat down on your backs, feet flat on the floor, knees to the ceiling. Then stretch your legs out straight. And then you're going to push your knees up. And you're going to rest one knee on your forehead and rest your other leg on your foot. You're all there. Then when you're ready, just two legs straight up and rest your other knee on your forehead and rest your leg on your foot. That's it, well done, just hold it there. Right, go and roll up again. Now use your hands. If, you, if you're struggling a bit, use your hands to support your lower back. Right, that's it, try and get your knee on your forehead. Straighten that leg up. Well done. And roll back down. And just gently roll back down from it. Brilliant, well done. It is supposed to be especially beneficial to children with SCN because it's something that they can access at their own level and there are specific exercises like the tortoise which is a real good calming one and for children with autism it can really help them find a space that they can go within themselves and just give themselves a bit of time to um, deal with situations. Just because we've had a really strong stretch around here do the butterfly just to relax ourselves. So feet together and just let your knees flat. The effect that it's had on my daughter Kira was in year five has been one of excellence. She wakes up on a Thursday morning bright and breezy. Can I go? Can I go? And when she comes back at night, she's lovely. She's calm, she's serene, and she even has us doing it in the lounge, which is absolutely excellent. The moves are unbelievable. As the yoga proved so popular, the school obtained funding through the Sports Coordinator Partnership for a yoga professional in the form of Janine Hurley from yoga company Yo Yogis. Janine set up an after-school yoga club for infants. I was requested to come in through the Healthy Skills Initiative and I run some a six-week 
block of sessions with the school during the school day. From there, it generated such an interest, they really loved it, that we developed an after-school activity. And the really good thing about it is I can take a lot of infant children, which a lot of after-school activities aren't necessarily pitched at, so it's fantastic for a different group, really key stage one. Can you make your feet really, really strong and pull your toes back and then can you point your feet forward and then take them back out again, that's really nice. And we're going to warm up our hip areas, so we're just going to do a little bit of rowing. Fantastic. And can you rock your babies, guys? Can you give your babies a rock? Oh, that's very nice. Excellent. Yoga is all about the union between your mind and your body and it basically takes on all the different areas. So we look at healthy eating, we look at our relationships with others and we look about how to breathe which is really important as well. A lot of children breathe through their mouths and it's really good to breathe through your nose. We also look to a lot of coping techniques as well. They're under an awful lot of stress with SATs and other kind of exams. So we look at tools to guide them through so before they go into an exam they know how to regulate the breathing and they know how to build confidence with certain postures as well. So we're going to just sit and we're just going to close our eyes and we're just going to feel the other person breathing. So close your eyes. And I'd like you to put your right hand on the person's left knee. Now this is a bit tricky, isn't it? Behind them. Excellent. Now I'd like you to put your hands on the person's knees behind you. It's really nice, so as far as you can go. <laughs> That's lovely. When you do it in the morning you feel all refreshed and it's good. When you go back back into class you feel better. It's not like a competition, so it's non-competitive, so then you, there's no winners and no losers. If you're like really angry, it like calms you down because you're not thinking about it and it helps you like get over what you're angry about. My favourite bit about yoga is when you do the mouse because if you have a headache, it helps you get rid of it. It does take a difference on me at home because when my brother and sister annoy me, it sort of calms me down. So instead of like pushing them away and everything, I just go up into my room and do yoga for it or something. Back in the classroom, Deanne puts yoga to good use with her year one class. Yoga can be used in the classroom to either calm the children down or to stimulate the children. In some instances, for example, after lunch times and they're coming in, they're all boisterous, we can do some techniques which just calm them down by getting them to concentrate on their breathing so then they're ready for the afternoon. Now, can you remember one of the exercises we do in yoga with our fingers for the washing machine? We're going to breathe in and we're going to blow out. Breathe in, blow out. One more time, breathe in. So now we're all sitting up straight, beautifully calm, ready to start our afternoon lessons. Well done, bears. If they've been sitting on the carpet for a while and they need livening up a bit because they're all a bit, it's been sitting still for too long, you can do an exercise like the lion, which is just used to stimulate them again, um, just to get them motivated, ready for whatever you're doing next. Do you remember in yoga how we do the lion? Yeah. So hands on desk. We're going to stick our tongues out as far as we can on the count of three and roar. Ready? One, two, three. The yoga phenomenon doesn't even stop there. Janine also comes in to teach yoga during PE sessions, but it's yoga with a difference, storytelling. The great way of using stories through yoga, especially for Key Stage 1, is that you can tie it into a theme with your skill. So we could be doing Harvest Festival Week, or it could be Halloween, or it could be any kind of healthy schools week. And I can tailor any story to what the topic is during that term. So it's great to tie things in. It just gives that extra element that everything's working together as well. You ready? Three little pigs. I'm 
They started off very, very small. They were tiny little pigs like this. And then over time, the three little pigs grew and grew. They got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until they were as nearly as big as the house. Woo! <laughs> Mummy pig said to them, little pigs, little pigs, I love you very, very much, but you're going to have to go and find some houses of your own. So she gave them a really great big hug this way and she hugged them that way. So the three little pigs set off. They started off by walking through the mud. So are we ready to slowly walk round and walk through the mud? They reached up really high to the sunshine and then they squelched, squelched all the way down into the mud. They reached up really high and they squelched all the way down. Yoga is very based around nature, so in a lot of the stories we bring in a lot of natural elements and a lot of the yoga poses are traditionally animal elements in yoga anyway, so we will use those within the story, so we'll have dogs and we'll have cats and we just use that to weave the story together. We can also go from place to place, so you can have bridges and other ways to move around which is helping the child stay active and using the imagination as well. Through the Every Child Matters programme, we realise that there's different ways of learning as well, and it just it promotes a different style of learning. Not everybody learns in the same way, and yoga helps bring out their creativity. And he went chop, 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 and he made himself a house of straw. Well, this little pig stepped into his house, and he thought, I would really love a cup of tea. So he decided to make himself a cup of tea. Are we all ready? We're going to make ourselves a teapot. So if you can just put your foot out to the side and the other one behind you, put your hand on the hips as the handle and get your teapot ready. And he sat down really, really happy. And he all squat down for me with his nice cup of tea. And it was really, really hot. And he drank it all up. Mm -hmm. Well, the other little pigs got fed up with walking. There were two more little pigs. And they decided to hitch a ride on the bumpy truck. So we're all going to get ready to get on our bumpy trucks. Everybody get your legs out in front of you. Check your gear sticks ready. My classes tend to be a bit more of the pure form of yoga when we're just doing the different postures. Janine coming in has brought a whole new side to it. Very noisy class, um, very fun for the younger children, which has really helped me see how I can do it differently for the younger children through the storytelling. The way I want to develop yoga within the skill community is to bring it to all different levels. So maybe I organise classes for the teachers. I'm also looking to bring in a teenage element as well. I'm finding it works fantastically, especially with the Year 11 girls, which I know that the schools find really hard to engage in any kind of sporting activity. So hopefully yoga can have something that they can take with them. The good thing about yoga is it does not need to be practiced with anything, so it can be practiced anywhere as well. So whatever is learnt in school can be transformed into the home, can be transformed into the classroom, or can be transformed into a PE lesson as well, so it's fantastic.